And so the Jonah that we meet in the opening words of Jonah chapter 1, the son of Amittai, was a man, we might say, schooled in the finest schools of reformed and biblical theology. But the whole of the narrative from that perspective is the story of how God began to deal with a man who was, we might say, intellectually a Calvinist, to make him inwardly a Calvinist, to transform a man who was thoroughly convinced of the doctrines of grace, to become a man who was taught how much he needed the grace of those doctrines. And that's a singularly important thing for us in a conference like this, the Philadelphia Conference in Reformed Theology, that we understand, as John Owen sometimes used to say, that there can be a difference between knowing the truth of the gospel and experiencing the power of the truths of the gospel, between understanding theology and that theology gripping our minds, touching and bending our wills, suffusing our emotions with admiration and love for God and bathing us deeply until we are immersed in the waves of God's saving grace. And for some of God's people, that discovery, that transformation from being, if I can put it this way, a creedal Calvinist into being an experimental Calvinist can be as disturbing and distressing and sometimes might seem to be almost as personally deconstructing as it was for the prophet Jonah. 